Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered about the true nature of our universe? I remember a night when I couldn't stop questioning what reality really is. Little did I know that big discoveries were being made that would completely change our understanding of existence. What is reality? Have you ever thought about its source and nature? In this world of shapes and forms, we see ourselves and everything around us as real. But you would be surprised to learn that reality is a mere illusion, an illusion built by your five senses, which, though useful, are limited. Even the universe we live in is not real. This big discovery was so important that the three brilliant minds behind it won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2022. A law aspect, John F. Clauser and Anton Zeilinger, were awarded the Nobel Prize for experiments with entangled photons. They showed that the universe is not locally real. But what does this statement really mean? Today, let's explore the deep mysteries of quantum physics and the amazing nature of our universe. We're about to unveil the groundbreaking findings of these intellectual giants and understand how their discoveries shift our perception of reality. So stick to this video until the end to fully grasp all the ideas. Let's get started. The universe is not locally real. Seems like scientific jargon, so let's break it down. Locality means that objects can only be influenced by their surroundings. Only nearby factors can affect the object. Thus, an object here cannot be affected by something on the other side of the universe because influence cannot travel faster than the speed of light. Imagine you flip a switch on Earth and a bulb lights up in another galaxy because of your action. Sounds impossible, right? That is the core idea behind the term locality. Realness means that objects have definite properties even when not observed. So, a tree falling in a remote forest will still make a sound even if no one is there. Similarly, a red apple will be red even when no one is looking at it. These ideas of locality and realness have been the basis of our understanding of the world and Newtonian physics. But then we discovered quantum physics and everything changed. The cosmos is within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the universe to know itself. Carl Sagan. The quantum world is random and unpredictable. We cannot apply the same deterministic principles in this realm. In the past, science mostly supported Albert Einstein's view of reality. Einstein believed that particles have fixed properties and they possess these attributes whether we are measuring them or not. Just like we looked at the example of a tree falling in the forest, when no one's around to hear it. Einstein believed that the tree still made the sound because objects retain their attributes regardless of the presence of an observer. But another physicist challenged Einstein's view. His name was Niels Bohr, and he supported the quantum theory, proposing that particles only exist as possibilities before being measured. When the act of measurement is introduced in an experiment, the particles assume definite properties. Niels Bohr's perspective can be best understood by the famous thought experiment called Schrodinger's cat. Suppose you put a cat in a box with something that can kill it, and you seal the box. So, how do you know whether the cat is alive or dead before you open the box? You simply can't because the cat is both dead and alive. Both possibilities exist simultaneously until you open the box and find out. The great debate between two leading minds, Einstein and Bohr, in the 1930s set the stage for our modern understanding of quantum mechanics. Another phenomenon central to the many mysteries of quantum physics is the concept of quantum entanglement. It states that when two particles become entangled on a quantum level, they remain innately connected. They can share information even if separated by a distance of millions of light years. Okay, time for another simple thought experiment to decipher how this complex phenomenon works. This is just an oversimplified version to help you understand the idea. So take this one with a grain of salt. So you start with two balls of different colors. One is white and the other is black. You then take two identical boxes and put the white ball in one and the black one in the other. You then seal the boxes and shuffle them. Since the boxes look exactly the same, you cannot guess which ball is in which box at this point. Suppose you take one box and send it to a vast distance of light years apart from the first box. You don't know which colored ball you have in your box, but the moment you open it and find the white ball, the other box that opens will show the black ball. So even though far apart, these two balls are somehow sharing information faster than the speed of light? If not, 
then how did the second ball know which color to appear as when opened after the first box was already declared as containing the white ball? Sounds bizarre, right? That's why Einstein, too, was puzzled by this mystery and called it spooky action at a distance. In Einstein's research paper co-authored with Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen, famously called the EPR paradox, Einstein argued that it is not the randomness of quantum particles responsible for the spookiness of quantum entanglement, but just that we lack crucial information. Einstein proposed that the concept of quantum entanglement was not in violation of local realism, but that we didn't know about the variables connecting two entangled particles. He believed that with enough experiments, we would eventually find those missing pieces of the puzzle, and we would be able to unlock the secrets of quantum physics. The next breakthrough in quantum mechanics came about in 1964, when John Bell introduced a method for evaluating Einstein's ideas about hidden variables. He introduced Bell's theorem, proposing that if concepts of quantum mechanics are correct, then particles can exhibit correlations that defy the constraints of local realism. John Bell's ideas and experiments were a major shift from Einstein's deterministic framework. His groundbreaking work paved the way for more unconventional research and experiments in physics. In 1972, John Clauser then started conducting a series of tests and experiments that provided empirical evidence for the fact that the universe operates by the concepts underlined by quantum mechanics and not local realism. Through their works, the three Nobel laureates, John Clauser, Alla Aspect, and Anton Zeilinger, proved that there were no missing variables that could define the mystery of quantum entanglement, like Einstein had proposed in his EPR paradox. So, an entangled particle does not possess any distinct and definitive attributes unless it is observed. So Einstein was wrong when he said God does not play dice. Consideration of black holes suggests not only that God does play dice, but that he sometimes confuses us by throwing them where they can't be seen. Stephen Hawking. These amazing discoveries and breakthroughs in the field of quantum mechanics are today's forerunners of advancements in quantum computing. Quantum computing is miles ahead of traditional computers because it harnesses key principles like quantum entanglement to perform advanced computational analysis. It is a transformative technology that has the capability to revolutionize different industries by solving complex problems that were way beyond the comprehension of classic computers. Thanks to the works of the three Nobel laureates who shared the Nobel Prize for Physics in 2022 and others, we now know that our universe is far more mysterious than we could have ever imagined. And perhaps realizing that our universe is not locally real is just the first step in a journey into the infinite possibilities of the magical quantum world. Who knows what other profound truths await us on this path? If you thought this video was insightful, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more empowering content. Until next time, keep attracting abundance in every aspect of your life. See you in the next video.